What is up, guys? I think we're going to have a live stream. I wanted to get a little bit more of the quadcopter build done tonight, and I thought, well, I might as well go live and share it with you guys. Happy Friday night, everyone. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic start to your weekend. I know I am. It was a great evening thus far. I got out for dinner with the wife and had kind of a, a little bit of a chill night after last weekend's a little bit of a gong show that happened. Um, had sick pet and some craziness happening. But in the middle of all of that, I did make some time. Cheers, Armando! How are you? I did make some time to finish off some more work on the quad. I got the run cam installed. Uh, well, just kind of set on there but nothing too crazy and I went ahead and soldered a capacitor on my battery lead which I, I don't know whether I believe the hype that it's truly necessary I it can't hurt I, I don't know how much good it's gonna do but hey it's on there cheers beginners tech you made it indeed cheers buddy so uh, I got that done the other night the frame is right where we left it what I ended up doing is I hooked up my receiver. This is the uh, FlySky FSI6B telemetry enabled receiver. This, some of them, the RSSI doesn't work because the firmware uh, wasn't the newest version. This is one I tested and the firmware works and I have RSSI on my transmitter. I went ahead and flashed it with the newest beta flight and went ahead and programmed it. And so far, I have to say we're in good shape. I even got Red October on the screen, except it's a plane. I should change that. But uh, <laughs> I program all my quads as planes. And with any luck, we have RSSI reading. We have voltages, which are basically useless in this case because uh, it's just reading the BC voltage. And we should have, uh, if we arm it, sure enough, so we don't wreck our receiver. We are alive. Arm, disarm. Ha ha ha, we have a live quad. I am super, 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 super happy about that. So uh, it didn't take long. Betaflight makes it easy nowadays. It just, it just bloody works right out of the box. So after I was able to do that, uh, I went ahead and got a new video transmitter. We're going to use on this build, we're going to use this AOM way uh, multi powered uh, transmitter. This will do, uh, I think it's 200 and 600 milliwatts. It might have a 25 milliwatt, I forget. I have to look whether it has 25 milliwatt or not for race use. But And then I went ahead and painted the antenna because, wow. I had to. So that should match the build with any luck. And I thought, well, if I can get this, this is the last, this is all that's left is to mount this stuff and solder it up. So if I can mount that, we're going to mount the VTX somewhere in that kind of range. And we just need to run the wire. So well, let's go ahead and do it. So, let's wait a minute and then we'll fire up the soldering iron. I'm going to catch up with you guys in the chat. And. Beginner's Tech, share the Eoshin 013. I don't know. Um, you light me. What you making? We are making a quadcopter. We are making a fairly high performance little drone. And it should be a lot of fun. Oh, cool, Beginner's Tech. I'll have to check that out after the cast. The 013 I'm not familiar with. So, with any luck, so if this works as I intend it, this is the trick, again, uh, as you guys saw in previous broadcasts, the, the longest part of this process is figuring out the spaghetti soup of the wiring. What we have to do is bring these to these pins on top of the flight control. So we don't have far to go on either of them, truthfully. Um, and we can bring them down the posts and back up and around, which I might... Well, let's do it. Let's figure it out. 
we can bring from the video transmitter I know where it has to go it has to go right about where it is right now it would be easiest just to bring these straight down but we are gonna have a battery strap around there so I say well first off let's get rid of the useless wires we are going to have um, some wires on here we're not gonna need we need power and ground and then we need video and I'm not going to use the 5 volt out of this so we can get rid of we can deep in everything except the yellow wire so let's go ahead and do that I'll catch up with you guys in the chat real quick uh, yeah do that beginners text send me that in Twitter have you made one before oh yeah this is not my first quad uh, I made this is my third of this exact model which I love this is the GB210 it's just a standard 210 clone frame nothing too crazy and I simply love the 210 it is a a really 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 robust frame I did this one different because I painted it this is our red October build this is what I'm calling the red October um, this is my first painted frame and I'm actually super super happy with it except I I know I'm gonna want to baby it when I get it out to fly it so I'm not going to want to hurt it, which sucks when you spend a little too much time making things spiffy and neat. <laughs> you end up wanting to baby them slightly. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can bash it around the sky pretty good. All right. We got two of those deep pinned. Come on. Last one. These are the audio wires. Um... And we are not going to be using audio. Uh, this VTX does not have smart audio or anything like that for switching the power level. So all we need is this single yellow wire for our video. And then there should be two other wires attached to it. And there are. And that's our power and our ground. And that can take full uh, LiPo voltage up to, I think, 6S on this receiver. But we're going to run 4S which is four cells on this particular build. What we'll do is we'll end up twisting these wires to reduce interference and we are going to waterproof this later. Uh, this is a, actually a water resistant or waterproof build. My very first one of that. So uh, once we get everything wired up we'll go ahead and disassemble it again after. And then we'll waterproof it up. All right, let's fire up soldering iron. So we'll use my trusty whip, and I think we'll fire up the unger tonight too. Because uh, I think the unger is going to be a little nicer for this particular job. Which flight control are you planning to use? That is the Betaflight F3 board in there right now. And that is my first time using the Betaflight F3. I have used the Seriously Pro f3s before with great success i loved them um, they're fantastic so we're going to give the uh the beta flight f3 a go now what i'm going to do is we'll, we'll trim those connections and what i did is i put pins on the top of this flight control so that it would be a little easier to solder to because I knew we were going to solder two wires to each power and ground and a single wire to each video. So I went ahead and pinned it, which is uh, those right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim those down. I'm going to leave the black spacer. These are just standard 0.1 um, headers nothing crazy the same ones we use on Arduino's Raspberry Pis and everything now they shot all over the room because I trimmed them off but that's perfect and we'll go ahead let's make a little pin out so we know what we're doing where'd all my notebooks go how come why for all my notebooks est missing thank you for your purchase from something or other cool we won't need that so OSD side this is the OSD chip right here don't ask me how I know that I just do 
and we need to get to the bottom side, flip this over and find out, because they didn't put silk screening on the top, which I don't understand why they didn't, but... So we're going to do V in is the closest. V... what? See, what? Oh, yeah. V out is the next. The uh, RAM pin, which is our power. I apologize, you guys can't see this because I have to break out the Microsoft microscope, and that should be ground is the next, and it is. All right, double check, triple check that those are where I think they are, and they are. So we no longer need the bottom side. We're good. Cool. Now we can solder it up. Uh, where did you get that frame at? This is from GearBest. This is a GB210 frame from GearBest. Uh, they're all the same, though. You can buy it anywhere. It's uh, just a standard, nothing crazy, 210 frame. Uh, I liked this one because I bought the frame and the uh, came with a Seriously Pro flight control, the Little B 30 amp speed controls, the Emacs red bottom motors, everything all inclusive for, I was buying it for $169 Canadian when they were on sale, which is a, a ridiculous deal in my opinion in Canadian pesos. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to match that. Uh, I have yet to see a deal like that since. And I loved it so much. I actually, if you guys are interested, I actually went ahead and bought. They didn't have the 210 frame. What they had was the Dubai 225 frame, but same kit, same seriously pro, pro flight control, same little b ESCs, everything. I bought a whole spare. Uh, comes with a video transmitter. It's actually a really good little v VTX. It works just fine. Um, and uh, it comes with a kind of a not so great camera, but definitely usable. And then the Emacs red bottom motor. So I actually bought a whole nother spare. So I have four of these now <laughs> and uh, I should be good. And I've never burned out an ESC or a motor yet. So <laughs> I have yet to need any spare parts, which is bizarre, really bizarre. A lot of people like maybe I don't like I'm 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 still a relatively new pilot compared to a lot of people out there. I put out a video today on the channel. That was just a testing of the sister ship to this one, so it wasn't really good flying. But um, I don't push things real hard. I got a long way to go. But, uh, I tend to believe that magic makes these things fly. We got to don't stop. Cheers, David. David Watts in the house. Guys, just a reminder, uh, make sure that you uh, click. You've got to click the little dots beside people's names now, but you'll discover they have YouTube channels as well. And David is one of them. Same with uh, Beginner's Tech and probably many others that will join us um, whenever we go live here. So check out their channels. Uh, David does cool videos every week. All right, so oh, I know you guys can't see that really well. We got to figure out what should we do. I think what we should do is take the wire, run it across the frame, and then down the upright, and then back up again onto the flight control. That way we can zip tie it in a lot of places. So we need to give ourselves enough length to do that. And I this is a really clean build. I'm quite proud of this, uh, that we don't have extra wire hanging all over. So uh, the trick is going to be just to have enough wire that we can do that without having too much. And I'm going to completely 
swag it and say that's going to be about right. Now the easy part is going to be the camera. The camera is right here. We just need enough wire to be able to tilt the camera around and work with it and possibly make it easy to get the connection off. So let's go. That would be the most aggressive angle possible on this camera, on this quad. So let's go ahead and run the wires up, over, and then trim them so that, and you want to twist them together. I know you can't see that, sorry. And we will do it something like so. Too late now. She's done. She's cut. So there we go. Now we can go ahead and just solder these up. We no longer need anything but to solder. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. What size motors? These are 2205, 2206, no, 2205, uh, 2200, 2300 kV. So standard red bottoms. And they, oh, <laughs> do they scream. The sister ship to this one, um, the less clean build, my daily flyer, the one that you saw in the video today, uh, the video today didn't do it justice. Um, I'll try and uh, get a shot of a wide open run or two, but the thing, the thing sounds like a, I don't know, a swarm of angry bees crossed with kids screaming at daycare times a thousand. The thing just screams. It's just nuts. Such a riot. Uh, I, I don't know how fast flat out, I don't have a radar gun, but I can tell you it's awfully quick. Okie dokie. So, let's leave that plugged in. Let's tin. Let's tin our flight control connections. I'm not going to break out the... Uh, Actually, let's use the other. Let's use the other iron. One of the benefits of having two irons, you can pick. So because I know these pins are quite large, we're gonna need a little bit more oomph. So we'll hit them with a little bit bigger iron. The, the one drawback I can tell you to this flight controller, if you end up getting the Betaflight F3, guys, uh, make sure you have an insanely hot soldering iron. Um, those little TS-1000s or whatever, those USB soldering irons that all the FPV guys are raving about, is not going to cut it on the flight control. It will not. There's a massive ground plane on this thing and it will not, will not solder without, well, this WEP is maxed out and my, uh, my Unger is pretty much the same. As soon as you touch it, the heat just wicks away. It's crazy. But other than that, it's so far so good. Fantastic flight control. All right. I'm just going to catch up on the chat real quick. Oh, yeah, beginner's tech. Yeah, your projects did go up in smoke. That was a crappy deal. Uh, maybe. A lot of cro is there a lot of crosstalk in the cameras? Does twisting the wires help, or is it just for wiring convenience? Uh, it's it is for shielding. Um, the video systems on these quads are insanely sensitive to noise intrusion because, well, mainly because of these monster 30 amp switching MOSFET nasty nasty speed control sitting there and that energy going back into the system uh, it also radiating pretty heavily so uh, at least twisting them uh, will cause the the uh, noise to be induced equally in the signal and the ground wire thereby cancelling it out and there's actually an equation to figure out exactly the proper amount of twist depending on the frequency and uh, size of the wire and all that kind of stuff too. But uh, you won't see this mentioned on other quad builders channels because um, I don't I just think there's quite a bit of people that probably don't understand the, 
the logic of twisting them other than just for looks. But uh, that's my reasoning for doing it, and it's always a battle to try and keep noise out of these systems, no matter what you do. It is seriously just a battle. <laughs> it's, anything you can do will help, but nothing is 100%. The 225 Dubai quad that I built... I didn't stream much of it live, but that quad, I, I was quite careful with everything. Now, mind you, I used the stock VTX and camera, and I can tell you that quad has a ridiculous amount of noise in the video system, so much that, so that after I maidened it and got the kinks out of it, I haven't flown it since. So I think I maybe we'll do a little... I don't know, a little deep dive into that one of these days too and figure out what the heck's going on with that. It's such a challenge to keep noise out of the video system on these. It's kind of fun. It's part of the fun of building them though in a way when you think about it. Okie dokie. Tin those wires up, which you can't see because it's off camera. This is my ugly, ugly splash pad of solder goopiness. I just replaced my uh, my soldering iron handle the other night, and man, I'm glad I I'm glad I did. I just bought just a cheap eBay one and replaced the the WEP one. When I, I run this thing wide open all the time, 450 degrees as high as it goes, and it runs wide open consistently and it does have temperature control but I can tell you it is not the best so when you forget and leave it on for a while it tends to cook itself <laughs> so I end up going through handles all right we're tinned up ready to go uh, I'm gonna make a video on what happened and an update on the house yes please do beginners tech I'd love to catch up on that sorry what happened that's so crappy. I wanted to do a, a GoFundMe or something, but it just didn't work out. Hopefully everything worked out. That's why I talked to you about your insurance thing. Uh, I know it was a little personal when I was asking that, but that's why I was asking. Is I just wanted to make sure that you were <laughs> you had somewhere to live, because I don't know what we could do, but as a community, I'm sure we could help. And actually, that goes for right now. Let me know how things are going. I, I, I would love to, like, don't have to do it in a video. You can hit me up in the, uh, either in our Discord chat or whatever, but I hope things are going okay for you. I really do. Because if they aren't, well, maybe there's something we can do to help as a community. We have a pretty awesome group of people here. I don't know. You can always come stay at my place, push comes to shove. But it's a little long way for you to go, I think. <laughs> Um, I figured it would be about some kind of twisted pair thing. Have to sleep. Cheers, David. Good night, sir. I'm glad you could. Uh, I'm glad you could stop by. Good to see you. David Watts, everyone. David Watts. <laughs> uh, so I kind of screwed up. I didn't twist these wires together. Uh, we need to share pins on the power and ground. So. Um, instead of twisting them before I tinned them, they're now tinned, and then I'll have to give them what little twist I can. But I think we'll make it work with any luck. But they're all going to the same place here, and we need to solder them to the same pin, and it's kind of hard. What I should do is put like a female terminal on it, but because I'm an idiot, I didn't do that. I actually should just put a terminal, but that that introduces a failure point as well. So it's kind of I don't know. It's it's user preference whether that's a, a good idea or not. Uh, I think we're gonna be in trouble to get those together, though. I might have to use. Well. Let's just go for it. We'll start at the farthest one away from me and we'll solder it up. I'm gonna, I don't know. 
nothing too crazy here tonight, guys. I just wanted an excuse to hang out with you guys and shoot the breeze. It's good to get to chat with you guys now and again. I am going to do the live shows again this fall, too. Looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> Give me something to prop this on. Alright. Come on, ground pin. You can solder. There's exceedingly... Like, there's basically no current flows through these connections. It's very, very low. So it's... Ah, perfect. That's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Uh, I have uh, black automotive goop glue, and I will use that after to... Um, to basically entirely encapsulate these connections and that should make it uh, quite resilient anyway let's say hopefully this is sheltered by the frame so there should be not a lot of chances of sticks and whatever getting in there and knocking these off but if I encapsulate them uh, after I do the conformal coating um, we should be in really, really good shape. Sorry. It's impossible for me to get this on camera, guys. I apologize right now. I apologize, but I will bring it up to the camera as soon as we get a good gob on there. Just small gouda. Let's see, how did we do? We did good. We have our black and our red, and that's that's the hard ones. That's where we gotta share two wires. So now our camera will have power and it will have ground. And now all we have to do is make sure this yellow wire is twisted around that ground all the way up which we can kind of do after a little bit by just spinning the other end up here but there we go video out is closest to our positive which is our ram pin we're gonna video out goes out to the vtx we will solder that pin good and hot because that one's wicking away lots of heat oh yeah that'll do that'll do and then our video in from our camera and we will make sure it's twisted around we don't need it twisted around the positive so much but we don't have a choice here in this case let's go one more round and that this will be officially the last soldered wire on this quadcopter, with any luck. Other than if I can make the beeper work, which I couldn't. There's a, I think, an error. Ah, crap, that didn't work worth beans. That was a crappy looking joint. Um, there was an error on the way they made these boards, and when I soldered the beeper on, it just beeps all the time, regardless of whether the channel's high or low. I think if I go on GitHub, I can find where they admitted their little mistake. Oh, that's not the best solder joint, but it's the best I'm going to do here because I'm going to catch up on chat. Um, do not recommend the GoPro Hero 5. Audio is not good. Oh, okay. Just the Hero 5, not the Session? Because I actually bought the Session, and I find the audio to be exceedingly good. What I didn't find good, speaking of Action Cam audio, is my Run Cam. My Run Cam 2, the audio is absolutely atrocious. I went to go fix that, 
and the SD card slot actually quit. So I contacted Runcam this week and they DHL'd me an entire new mainboard, which had the same problem of the obscenely shitty audio. So I went ahead uh, last night or the night before when I added the new mainboard in. I went ahead, or when I final assembled it, I went ahead and did a modification to it. And you will see a video coming. Basically, I went ahead and took a 330 ohm 0805 surface mount resistor and soldered it across the electrolyte mic. And that attenuated the noise way down because you can't do it in firmware because they don't freaking have a setting for that. And now my run cam has awesome audio. And I did do a video on it. In fact, the video is almost edited. All I have to do is go out and fly the quadcopter tomorrow and get some flight footage to finish that video. But, yeah, it was a fun little mod. Anyway, I digress. What night is the live show going to be? I'll probably go back to Monday night, Tech Live again, uh, just because the wife has uh, uh, her hobby on the Monday nights. So... Uh, probably let's let's shoot for Monday nights and see where we land in the fall. <laughs> uh, it should be. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. What do you think? It's it's been a while since we did Tech Live. Um, this winter was kind of a bit of a loss. Cool. Look at that. Oh, we're good. Um, John says his is good. Awesome. GoPro does not record the first second of audio and sounds like a tin can fades in and out. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's got to be a bad unit. It shouldn't be that bad, I wouldn't think. I would exchange it. I would as well. Just up the ESC beeper by a VL Heli. Absolutely, Tobomori Cat. Cheers, buddy. Another so Tobomori Cat's like the resident quad expert around here. Um... Yes, uh, I'm with the the BL Heli. I'll just set the the beeper. It's I left them at a default on this one right now at ten minutes, but I think I'll just move that up to five minutes, and then uh, yeah, then I don't need the beeper on the flight control. Exactly how you say, just use that. I don't like the way those are twisted, but it's ugly. I can do better. Ah, I can do that off camera. I don't like what you want is to have the twist the twist rate has to be even all the way along and we don't want to see this fugliness. So I'll go ahead and undo it and then I'll redo it off camera. But for now, we'll just go ahead and make sure our frame is going to work and that's going to be able to go where we want it to go, which is right there and we have tons too much wire as I anticipated crap. We'll bring it up to the front and down, and hopefully there's enough for that. And we're going to be good. We're going to be in good shape. This is what the quad's going to look like when we're done. Uh, got my 3D printed uh, a run cam mount. This fits the run cam or Mobius at a 30 degree angle, which is not aggressive. That's good for me for now, uh, except it's black doesn't match the frame. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to acetone bath this because there's some banding on here and this is really really thin and my existing one used to break all the time till I super glued the heck out of it. So I'm going to put this in my rice cooker with some acetone and vapor bath it which will basically make it one like crazy insanely sealed solid part and then I'm going to paint dip this, uh, hydro dip it like you saw me do on this frame on my previous video and then I'll I'll try I'll match it to the color scheme on this frame which is that cool red black and white splatter look and then it will go right up front and then I can mount my action camera we're good guys what do you think of that let me know what you guys think I'm pretty pretty stoked this is this thing's going to be a beast. It's going to be fast. It's my, also my first use of this run cam, uh, the new Swift, the newer Swift uh, camera that I swapped out and put a uh, GoPro Hero 2 lens in. Should give me a really wide field of view. Should be perfect for freestyle flying. Well be well beyond what I need for now. Should be it should be awesome. And timing 1 minute for ah, 1 minute. That's a good idea. 
I think I'll try that. I've, I've never, yeah, why not, right? Like, how often do we have, so what Tobermory Cat's talking about is our speed controls now, um, these these are running BL Heli firmware, and the BL Heli firmware is, is freaking awesome. I love it. Now, admittedly, there's a lot of fancier stuff out there, but uh, I so super configurable. One um, first step is you can reverse them in in the firmware, which is not new anymore, but super handy on quads like this to keep it clean. The second really cool thing for me is that you they have a beeper built in. Uh, well, it just uses the the motor as a stepper motor and just beeps it like same as arming, except it has built in the timer that if it has no control signal or change in the motors for whatever time you want, uh, it'll start beeping, and which is great for finding your lost quad. And you just configure that in the firmware. It's, it's super super easy. So. Um, simple things like it takes up no memory it's really a few lines of code but they went ahead and did it and you can set it to whatever time you want as Tobermory Cat says well one minute well that sounds good to me I'm going to try it I've left them at 10 minutes before which is ridiculously too long because you got to wait 10 minutes before it starts beeping but I also run the locator light uh, which is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, locator I have that on any quad that I'm flying. It just goes on the battery strap. There's a video on my channel on that. And when I dumped my 210 two weeks ago, I just grab that out, turn it on, and immediately I have a direction of the quad and I just walk over to it before the beeper even started. So, But hey, why not have it beeping as well? Beginner's Tech followed to your firefighting Monday nights. Well, we'll see what we can do then. Uh, you can use the heated bed on your printer for an acetone bath. So, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, my printer has uh, ABS parts uh, for some of the components, and uh, some of them are, uh, there's actually one that's like a linear bearing, and it's made out of the ABS, 3, 3D printed ABS. I'm not going to do an acid bath, acetone bath in there. I went to, there's a video on my, or, Actually, there is no video on the channel. I went to the local St. Vincent de Paul, the local thrift shop, and I went looking for uh, a slow cooker or something like that. And I, what I found was a rice cooker. And it has a button that it just, it's just a rice steamer. And it, I paid like $4 for it. And it's, it's amazing. It's yay big around. I put the parts on a piece of glass, uh, on a rack, pour four or five tablespoons of acetone in the bottom, press the button, and in like 15 seconds I have a vapor bath and it's I can do it outside away from my house by like as far away in my backyard as I can get <laughs> and it works fantastic for vapor bathing ABS I've been using it for years so that's what I do uh, not definitely not my printer I had a tripod GoPro mount that was 3d printed for your camping vid can you post a link for the file yeah um, but you can just go to Thingiverse and just Google GoPro tripod mount and you'll find hundreds of them. But uh, I, I don't have the link, to be honest, John. I, I just grabbed it off of Thingiverse. So thingiverse.com. Uh, I can s I could send you the file if you want. You can email me, just email or DM me on Twitter and, or wherever uh, in the Slack or whatever, and I can I can post the the file to you. I'm sure I have it. Cool stuff, awesome stuff, guys. Glad I got to hang out with you guys. We have we have a fully functional quad. I'm gonna go ahead and final twist these wires, make everything super pretty, and mount things up do a power test which hopefully won't let the smoke out I'm deliberately not doing it on the channel not because I don't want you guys to see it but I'm sick of the curse of the live streamer lately the last broadcast no problems the last two broadcasts before that oh it couldn't have went any worse so I'm also going to just double check these connections before I power it up off camera because I am not going to cook any components because of the curse of the live streamer <laughs> cheers guys have a fantastic night hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, build something cool this week i will see you guys in a few days cheers <laughs>